Today, I'm going to answer three questions. What does Kinesio Tape supposedly do? How does Kinesio Tape supposedly work? What does the research say? And I'm going to discuss my number one issue with it. What does Kinesio Tape supposedly do? One popular company states that it has the ability to re-educate the neuromuscular system, reduce pain and inflammation, optimize performance, prevent injury, and promote good circulation and healing. Another states that it relieves swelling through decompression, which speeds recovery, and increases awareness of your body position. The last site states that it's designed for muscle, ligament, and tendon pain relief and support. Many of these statements come with a disclaimer, not proven clinically for all injuries. How does Kinesio Tape supposedly work? The most consistent assertion is that it microscopically lifts the skin away from the muscle and fascia below, creating a decompressive effect. Other than that, the claims on the websites are fairly vague and relate back to improvements in lymphatic drainage, pain, inflammation, etc. What does the research say about performance? A 2018 systematic review by Renneker et al. concluded that there is a lack of compelling evidence to support the use of kinesio tape to enhance sports performance abilities. Injury prevention? A 2012 meta-analysis by Williams et al. concluded that there was little quality evidence to support the use of kinesio tape over other types of elastic taping in the management or prevention of sports injuries. Swelling? A 2015 randomized control trial by Nunez et al. concluded that the application of kinesio taping with the aim of stimulating the lymphatic system is ineffective in decreasing acute swelling after an ankle sprain in athletes. Proprioception? Studies by Arseth, Bailey, De Oliveira, and Abbasi found no improvements in proprioception at the ankle, shoulder, or low back with the use of kinesio tape. Strength and flexibility? A 2018 trial by Raynard et al. reported no clinical benefits of kinesio tape on range of motion, strength, or pain were noted in a population of subjects who underwent rotator cuff surgery. Circulation? Studies by Stedge, Woodward, and Yang found no improvements in circulation or blood flow when kinesio tape was applied to the forearm, calf, or low back. Lymphatic drainage? The most recent clinical practice guideline from the Academy of Oncological Physical Therapy states that kinesio tape cannot be recommended to replace short stretch compression bandaging in stage two and three breast cancer related lymphedema. Pain? A 2020 systematic review with meta-analysis by Junior et al found no evidence to support the use of kinesio tape in clinical practice for patients with chronic nonspecific low back pain. Before ending this section, I wanna point out two things. One, this is not an all-inclusive list. Two, you can find research that demonstrates some benefits of kinesio tape. However, a 2014 systematic review by Pereira et al. summarizes this information nicely. When used for a range of musculoskeletal conditions, Kinesio taping had no benefit over sham taping, placebo, and active comparison therapies, the benefit was too small to be clinically worthwhile, or the trials were of low quality. Therefore, current evidence does not support the use of kinesio taping for musculoskeletal conditions. My number one issue with kinesio tape does not lie with you, the user. If you're an informed consumer who chooses to self-apply kinesio tape because it's an affordable intervention that helps you get through training, that's your decision to make. I think it's fine, especially if you're not sacrificing other long-term management strategies in the process, such as appropriate sleep, nutrition, etc. My issue is with the companies that promote false claims to drive sales as evidenced by the class action lawsuits that they've had. The type of tape, direction of application, amount of tension, etc. don't seem to make a difference and you don't need any formalized training to apply it. This photo made its rounds on social media a few years ago and unfortunately people ridiculed the woman. It's never helpful or appropriate to make fun of someone who's trying to engage in a healthy lifestyle and better themselves. Instead, ask the company or the clinician who sold her the idea that the tape would improve her performance or reduce her risk of injury to hold themselves to a higher standard. It's also being promoted for dogs, cats, and horses. There's even a picture of an elephant with it on. Rosie and Kai don't approve.
In summary, you can self-apply kinesio tape if you like it, but the research doesn't support the outlandish claims that clinicians and companies promote. You also don't have to overthink how you apply it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave any questions or comments down below. Peace.